YouTube, what is up with y'all today? This Neil Goodfella, Goodfella Neil. I'm coming through again with another sneaker pickup, another sneakerhead weekend or sneakerhead day, whatever day you watch this. Uh, anyway, man, I got another ASICS. I'm quite sure y'all see it on the screen. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Going to the box. This is part of that haul I did. Now this is size nine and a half. Most of the ASICs I've been getting has been size 10 or size 9.5. Most of them probably been size 10, though. And it seems as if size 10 seems to fit me a little bit better uh, because the ASICs do fit a little bit tighter than I expected. But I'm going to pull my sock up extra high this time when I try them on again and do my one foot. So maybe that might help a little bit. Now, it's not necessarily like hurting my feet or anything like that. But I like to usually go down a half a size just to... Um, just to, you know, so I won't have any like creasing on the toe box. So going to the box, we got the Jail Light Speed, Safety Yellow, and Black. So we got them, we got them City Worker colors going on right here, man. If I want to get into construction, man, this would be that shoe. Wait, hold up. This would be that shoe, man. So uh, Jail Light Speed, Safety Yellow, Black. Obviously, like I just said, but I want to confirm because I don't still too much know my my actual Asics models now. In case you didn't know, I kind of went kind of hog wild on like this crazy ASICs running haul. You know, everything was like, every ASIC kick that I just copped was like less than 30 bucks. High end, 27. Low end, $20. So, I definitely came up. Came up and it was definitely Christmas, man, for me. So, I ordered this on the 23rd or something like that. And man, these joints are crazy. Now, this is the first pair of ASICs. This is the safety yellow. Um, I got a Bo Jackson that, that's this color. Of course, I haven't worn them yet. Still got the cleaning instructions and the ASICS logo right there. But um, I, I still haven't worn these yet. Like, actually walked around and outside with them. I tried it, I tried it on a little bit. So that's how I know that this nine and a half snug fit is, you know, uh, barely made the cut. It's still wearable. It doesn't hurt my foot. But I did, I, I I was thinking it was going to be a little bit more room, but again, um, going back to the shoe, definitely classic, definitely flames. I got a Bo Jackson shoe that's just like this colorway with the black, lime green, or you might call it Volt, safety yellow. It's that highlighter green, you know what I mean? A highlighter yellow, as most people call it. So, um, crazy. Now, it's like the insole starting to look like a Granny Smith apple, man. Crazy, crazy. You also got ASICs on the inside. I'm happy I got some good light today. <laughs> um, ASICs still running on like along the mid. So now with this one, since I'm still getting used to my ASIC models or whatever, <clears throat> so now I know what to expect. Um, these joints right here is flames. Uh, as far as the consistency with the light, it's, it's the light one. It's the light one that sold. It's the green or the yellow. If it's, it's the highlighter yellow on the sole, lighter than this. Um, it's about the same. It's about the same because with the orange joints, it was more Cheeto orange on the like a highlighter orange on the sole than the orange on the toe box was a little bit more duller. But this one, everything is one point. The consistency. Now I'm not nitpicky all like that, but it's just for the sake of the. You know, in case that matter to you guys or whatever. Like, to me, it really doesn't matter. But as long as they come clean. One of the things, though, that I would hate to see is actually seeing this stuff get dirty. So, this is one on ones. I'm going to definitely have to wear with caution. And if I do see dirt on it, I'm going to probably be scrubbing like a madman. Crazy, crazy. And one of the things that I that was different that I knew about a lot of ASICs, it has like that, you know, that JJ opening right there. You know what I mean? I, ain't, I don't want to get too explicit, but, you know that part yeah that part <laughs> but anyway um so <clears throat> that's the only real shining difference with this particular model i noticed a few asics just have a slit up the middle with no tongue now that did feel kind of weird to me when i was wearing this shoe though um but it's, it's one of the things i could easily get used to uh because when the shoe because it's, it's different actually having a pool it's like somebody just cut the tongue off and split it up the middle or something like they cut this part off and just cut right through the middle maybe that's my that might be better for different runners or whatever remember these are still runners at the end of the day even though i'm gonna be wearing them casually um 
Ooh, these can't even bend either. I'm thinking this would be flexible. So I really got to really break these in. Um, so this is one of the ones, again, okay, the leather is a little bit softer on this one. Because on a lot of the ASICs that I've been picking up, um, the leather looks soft, but then when you feel it, it's kind of it's tough. But this one right here, like uh, going along through the, 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 the stitching and the embroidery right here for the ASICs logo, obviously the A right there, um, the leather on the inside is actually way soft, softer. Now, of course, going to the back, you still got a tumble, tumble leather. It's still kind of hard in the back because, you know, you got that nice hard heel cup. Again, this is a runner shoe, so it's supposed to be built sturdy and stuff. You know, I'm not I'm not trying to run in the toilet, some toilet paper and, you know, now granted I'm not going to be running, but come on now. You know, the shoe got to be built, got to have some kind of durability. Some people want shoes so premium, damn thing, be about to almost fall apart because it's, it's so soft, you know, so. Um, <clears throat> the crazy thing about it is the little size of tag is on the side, just FYI, right there. Um. going around just a quick look there's not really too much else to the shoe now this is one of those shoes you can either leave like this or you can freak out with like another lace <clears throat> i don't know what i was going to do preferably i don't know if i was going to put a sky blue in or like a a hot uh, a hot pink like a like to make it look 90s like i don't know i don't really too much know for sure for sure of course you know i could just play it all along just with this straight jet black and then just wear like an all black and then just let the kicks do all the talking just wear you know let this just pop the way it is you know this is definitely one of them head turners because i mean hell it look like you running with highlighters on your feet if you you know somebody see that i definitely think it'll catch somebody eye and this is one of them kicks that people just look like whoa what the hell you know what are you know what's those like those fly you know what i mean that's one of the things i actually do like about copper kicks and staying on the hunt number one you find kicks that people are sleeping on so you know y'all keep spending two hundred dollars on them jays you know what i mean no knock to jordan or nothing like that but still that can't be the only thing you buy you know what i mean like you still need to pick up other classics like this is a classic kick like asics drop some good running shoes depending on which ones you get and you know opinions is opinions and options is options i don't I don't too much care for the newer, newer stuff that they got. Like, it looked like a rainbow and stuff. But these fly. And I notice, I think a lot of these are like shoes from back in the day. So if they may run shoes like this back in the day, and I, obviously they did, they wouldn't lie about it. But, you know, this will definitely be up my alley. So, rate, comment, and subscribe. Time is running out. I got to head up out of this joint, man. Crazy. I like these joints, man. I was really, really... I might just, I seen Fomer actually put like rope laces through his ASICs and that that looked like that really might be the move though, man. Like, they make it look a little bit more athletic. You know what I mean? I don't know if I, because I do got my, I got a pink rope lace, but I don't want it to look all like too feminine. You know what I mean? I kind of want to still go with that, that 90s, again, that 90s kind of like theme. You know what I mean? Like that 90s color where people was wearing lime green, the hot pink or the sky blue. Like, you know, just kind of freak it that way. But I don't know, man. I'll test it out or whatever. Again, it's the gel light speed. <clears throat> I got these in a nine and a half. And if you do get these, either go to your true size or a half size up. Now, I got a slim foot. I think that's the only way why I really got away with this. But, um, and also, too, when you do get shoes, make sure that you, uh, you damn near got to almost take the lace out to loosen up the lace because they tie the shoe so hard at the factory. So by the time you get them, you think you don't, you can't fit them, but uh, yeah. The crazy thing about these, about these kicks is it, it'll look obvious if you can't fit these because when you got to split up the tongue, a white sock wouldn't look good, bro. So rate, comment, and subscribe. Also, too, um, I think I already told you at the beginning of this video. This is part of my Asics haul that I actually got. Um, I got these kicks for like. $24 or $25 so shipped all the whole all my aces that I end up copying from the haul was less than $30 so rate, comment, and subscribe thanks for the 500 subs y'all and I'm growing peace happy new year to y'all too